God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria. I'm the senior pastor of the church. If you would like information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our audio message today is titled Steadfast in Prayer. Our scripture will be from the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, which reads, In everything by prayer present your request to God. My beloved, there are many people that pray, but they don't pray correctly. Prayer is communication with God. So my beloved, when we pray about peace, or we pray about the church, or we pray about the needs that we have, we should present our prayers to God in an unselfish manner. A lot of times we deal with how to present our needs to God. The word says in everything, that's in everything that you do, pray. Before you make decisions, pray and present it to God in a manner where he will receive it. There are people that just pray aimlessly, but we must pray what is in us, not what we wish was in us. Praying what's really in our heart is an everything kind of prayer. I don't wait to clean up my motives or try to sound more spiritual than I am. I pray what's really in me. If you are going to grow in prayer and overcome worry, you must begin by becoming an in everything prayer. Whether your request is large or small, whether your motives are mixed or pure, whether what you ask is wise or foolish, God can sort it all out, and he will. You can trust God to respond wisely. He is not going to give you something foolishly. My beloved, understand, he will not give you anything that will harm you. But my beloved, you've got to learn to hold your prayer loosely and trust that if God doesn't answer in the way you want it to be answered, he knows what he is doing. He has very good reasons for not answering your prayer in such a manner as you want it answered. It's such a simple thing to go through your day asking God, what's the one thing needed that you have for me in this moment? And when he reveals it to you, you need to do it. Don't debate, don't rationalize, and don't postpone. Whoever you are, whatever your background, starting this moment, you can do it. You can become an in everything prayer. My beloved, pray by faith. Pray with sincerity. You may not know how to present your prayer, but pray from your heart. Let God sort everything out. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, please give us the strength, the stamina to be steadfast in our prayers. Teach us to pray with an open mind, an open heart, and by faith. Lead us and guide us on how to pray so that we may get our prayers answered. And when you don't answer our prayers in a way that we think you should, give us the patience to wait on you and the understanding to know that you will do whatever is best for us. Thank you, Father God, for this time of prayer and for this message. And we give you praise, honor, and glory today as we pray in the name of our divine Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. My beloved, have a great week. And don't forget that God loves you and he is waiting to hear from you.